हेलो एवरीवन नमस्ते वेलकम टू माय सेवन हैंड कार्ड गेम चैलेंज ट्रम्प लेट्स प्ले चैलेंज ट्रम्प वी कैन टू स्टार्ट ऑफ यू वी कैन क्लिक ऑन प्ले नाउ एंड यू कैन सी माय पार्टनर बोट टू हैज सेड द ट्रम्प and uh, i got good some good cards but not good enough to make seven hands in a row so i am going to decline okay today's riddle is what did the hat say to the scarf what did the hat say to the scarf scarf that we put around the neck what did the hat say to the scarf that's my riddle for today that's the riddle for today and i have been telling you the stories of my early days 40s and 50s when we were going to primary school and when we were going to primary school the uh, that time the road was all gravel no Tassil Road in our village. The road was not Tassil, and and uh, when we went to school, or oh, whole of primary is uh, one to eight, we never had shoes to wear. We always went barefoot. we had no fancy uh, school bag a school bag was made from father's old khaki trousers torn clothes they made bags mother sewed bags for our school books so uh, we didn't have all those fancy bags we didn't have um, any fancy um lunch box we took our food in our in billy can billy can no plastic water bottle no plastic uh, bags only our we used to wrap we used to get one brown paper which was uh, waterproof we used to wrap our book in that on rainy days so no shoes we used to go and when we started school we used chalk pencil but we did not have ball pen at that time no ball pen what we used was uh, uh, ink ink in bottles and we were using pen and nib ink bo- in bottles and in our on our desk there used to be a hole for putting the ink bottle otherwise we used to drop ink everywhere drop ink on our school uniform and that was better to have um, ink put in that hole and now you can see that we made seven head and we it's it's caught but we can't make any more so here i have to decline see this is asking accept or decline they want to know if i can make all 13 but i can't so i'll decline so that was about ink we used um, uh, pen and nib often dropping ink everywhere and we made ruler with bamboo we cut bamboo to make ruler that was our ruler and there was a, a tree called babri babri tree from that babri tree the fruit of babri tree tree we when we peel the fruit the we used it as glue 
to stick our paper together so that was uh, uh, that was uh, our gum but fruit from bubbery tree that tree also had thorns in it thorns in it so that in, in our days we, that's how we went to school using ink and pen then later on we got fountain pen with tube in it then we fill that tube with ink and then it take you can write for a longer time we, when we fill the ink in the fountain pen how many of you do remember those days you may comment in the comment section that was about uh, That was about our school days with ink. And we used to walk barefoot every day, eight years from class one to class eight, barefoot. And in the afternoon when coming back from the school, the students used to uh, pluck sugar cane. Sugar cane from one pandit's field that was near the school and everybody eating sugar cane going back home and you could see all white thing on the road after chewing the sugar cane all the white things on the road so we used to eat a lot of sugar cane those days even um, our measurement was different not uh, meter and centimeter. Our measurement was yard, mile, mile, about one and a half mile away was our home, house from the school. So measurement was different. Money was different. Uh, money also was different. Uh, we we had pound, shilling, and pence. Our penny had a hole in it. Penny had a hole in it. And my little brother used to used to plant plant the pennies. He said, "If you plant money, you will get money from the tree. You get money if you plant money." You get used to plant uh, pennies. That was my brother. Uh, my rhyme today is another simple one. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty Dumpty together again. That's my old, old rhyme. Now you can see we got six out of seven and they have, they have five out of seven. So we won this game. When we win the game, it's written there, we have won two games. And hands, we won 14 hands and they won five hands. And we won two court, and they won. Uh, we won two game and one court. We won two game and one court. Now you can see that I got lots and lots of hearts, but I haven't got the king of heart. If I have king of heart, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight hearts, eight hearts, and um, no king. So I, I have to decline, decline. Now my partner threw heart. Let's see. So that was the to Humpty Dumpty. Now I got few other things to tell you. One, I'll tell you a story that has a lesson to learn from it. 
and the story is about a donkey a farmer had a donkey and donkey was getting old and one day that donkey fell in a well the well didn't have any water he, he the donkey fell in an empty well and the farmer tried to pull the donkey out but it was not possible for him to pull the donkey out and he called the other farmers and they decided that the donkey was old they decided to bury him in that hole it was not good thing to do but still they decided to put soil in the hole to bury and they started putting soil in the hole they put some soil and the donkey was afraid and then don't the donkey started shaking all the soil off him when the people threw soil in the hole donkey shook himself and the soil fell under his leg and he was able to climb up on the soil and slowly and slowly he was able to come up because the farmers were throwing soil in the hole and the donkey was climbing on top of the soil and he was able to come out so we learn less some lesson from that story then there are five this uh, lesson the story tells us five rules to be happy first is free your heart from hate free your heart from hate don't hate anybody free your heart free your heart from hate another thing number 2 is free your mind of distractions free of mind of distractions number 3 simplify your life keep your life simple simplify your life and number 4 give more and accept less give more and accept less uh, and we learn a lesson there number 5 love more and shake the debt shake the debt love more and shake the debt because in this life we have to be a solution we have to be a solution not the problem like the donkey he shook all the debt away so we have to be solution to solve your problem it should not be problem so that is what we learn from this story so that was story of donkey how he shook out the dust dead from his body and was able to come out of the hole so we should shake all the dead and be solution not the problem so i hope you are enjoying how you play the game and enjoy it never mind whether you win the game or lose but it's good to enjoy whatever you play with your friends family members when people come to visit you ask riddles stories enjoy songs enjoy games of card and enjoy whatever you do don't do too many things at one time just do few things and do those things properly enjoy
hope you have learned to play challenge game now you can see that it is my turn to say the trump and redeal uh, redeal is written there that means my cards are 10 and less so i have to redeal now thank you very much for watching see you next time thank you